guys, Stacy Goggins again, and we are here for another one of our homemade art um, projects. And today we're hanging out in the living room. We're going to be working on creating our book flower art. And so the first thing that I want to do is just go over some supplies with you. So some of the things that we're going to need old book pages, please make sure that this is a book that you are no longer using, um, that you can kind of repurpose it and give it a new life for um, your art projects today. You're going to need some scissors, some glue, and then wire, or if you don't have any wire, pipe cleaner will also work. And then um, markers or watercolor is a way that you can add um, a little bit of uh, dimension or color to your projects when we're done today. So that is optional. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and um, just talk to you guys about a couple of ways to create some um, flowers today. Now, when you're done, you can make multiples, put them in a vase, um, but I'm going to just kind of walk you through uh, two different ones. So the first thing you need to do is get your, um, your paper. So I was using um, an old uh, piano book. And so mine obviously has musical notes, but you can use whatever you happen to have. Mine was also a very big piece of paper. So I went ahead and cut it in half. Um, this is about a typical size of a book. Now, what we need to do for the first one, it's gonna be kind of a spiral flower. We need to get a pair of scissors and we need to create almost like a squarish um, oval shape, I guess. Um, so we need to go ahead and start by just taking, and this is not perfect, and I'll just do it this way so you guys can kind of see. Um, this is not perfect. Um, so don't worry about drawing it out before. We're just trying to get a rough shape, okay? so something along these lines right here. Now, you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna go in at an angle. And what we're doing is we're creating a spiral. So we're just gonna spiral the whole entire paper. Now, you do wanna kind of keep that space um, between each spiral about um, the width of your finger, okay? You do not want it to get too skinny and you don't want it to be so wide that you're not going to be able to um, really spiral your paper. And you'll notice I'm not doing this incredibly slow. So you've got, so I've got some jagged edges and that's okay also. So what you now have right now kind of looks like a long snake. We're going to take that center part and we're going to begin just wrapping it. So this part is a coil. So we're just going to take that corner and we're just going to start to Coil it on itself, just kind of spinning it on itself. And this part is a little tricky for you to see, um, so try to do it slowly. But essentially what you're doing is we're taking um, our flower or our spiral and we are just rolling the spiral around itself. So we're just, just, just continuing to roll it. We're going to do this all the way around. So it's obviously the hardest part is just getting it started, but you're just going to allow that spiral to just roll um, up on itself. I'm going to do it like this. And I've kind of found that if I hold the center together and then use my other hand and to do the wrapping, um, that's great. If it rips a little bit at the bottom, that's okay. Um, we are going to, this is just kind of our practice to get it so that you guys can kind of see what it looks like, okay? And then we'll um, add some glue so that our design will actually stay in place. So this is, again, just one of the um, two that I'm going to show you today, but this is the spiral one. When you get to the very end, um, you will let's see when you get to the very end. OK, so when you get to the end, what I want you to do is just kind of let it loose and you can see really close. It's a nice little spiral. What you want to do is just kind of sit it in your hand with your palm flat and just allow it to unwind. OK, now that is what we're looking for. That's perfect. So now what we need to do is we need to get our glue and we're going to glue um, the first. I'm going to do the end. OK, so this little tail right here, put my glue down. This little tail right here, that was the very, very end. Let's go ahead and put a little dab of glue on that. I'm using Elmer's glue um, just because that's what I happen to have. But if you have glue stick, that's fine too. If you get a little bit much on um, your tail, it's fine. Remember, it dries clear. So don't, um, don't worry about that. And I'm just holding it in place 10 seconds or so 
um, should be enough time for it to kind of stick to itself. And then the next thing that you want to do is as you let this loose, okay, so I'm going to let that tail, my tail should be firm. So as you let this loose, if you realize that there are any places along the flower that you want that to stay close, you can take and just put a little dab of glue in there. Now I've created some where I didn't put any glue except for just that tail um, at all. But there was another one, this one I'll show you, it's a little bit bigger. And so it was a little bit, um, because I made it just out of a larger piece of paper, I kind of put a little um, pieces of glue in there just to tack it and make sure that it stayed the way that I liked it. Okay. So this just becomes kind of a personal preference. You've got to glue the tail off obviously, but then if you let it go and you realize like, Oh, it's falling apart or it's not right. Then you can just go in and put in little dabs of glue wherever you see, um, wherever you see fit. Okay. And because it's the Elmer's, it, it glues very nicely and very easily. Now, so I'm going to set this aside I feel pretty good about my flowers. So I'm going to sit this right here and then I'm going to show you for the stem. So I'm using just an aluminum wire. Um, the floral wire works great also. It comes in silver and green, but the uh, aluminum wire makes it easy for you to cut. So this is, again, I had something left from another project. So this is for my stem. I'm just going to decide how long I want it. Go ahead and cut it. <laughs> then you want to make a little loop. So at the end, just make kind of a little loop. I'm just folding it on itself. And that's really just so it won't go through the center of my flower. If the center of your flower is a little bit bigger and you need to make a couple of loops, um, that's also fine. You're just trying to keep it from sliding all the way through when we feed this in. So I'm going to take my flower and I'm just going to slide my wire through. Now, once you get your um, your flower, your wire in, this will also kind of help. So you can see my flower needs a little bit more glue on a few spots just so I can get it to stand up. Okay. So once you get your wire in there, that might also determine if you need um, some more glue in there um, as you, so that it displays the way that you like it. Okay. And this will determine if you want these to be like hung, if you want them to be standing up, that will also determine where you want your glue um, to go. But the inside looks really awesome, nice spiral. Um, so that's one version of a flower that you can do. So the other version, um, you're gonna need, again, just a, free, a clean piece of paper, same size as last time. You're gonna fold it into half, okay? And then you're gonna fold it one more time. So we will have four different sections, okay? Let me open it back up. And you're gonna cut with your scissors along those lines. So I'm gonna just take and, again, these are do not have to be precision cuts by any means. So there's one, cut this one. We're just trying to get um, smaller pieces of paper to work with, okay? So I've got this, my last one. Okay, so now I have my four sheets. And what I'm going to be doing with this is I'm going to be creating a triangle. So I'm going to take this corner. It doesn't matter which corner, but you're going to take a corner, and I'm going to use this top one. And I'm going to bring it all the way over to the edge. Okay. And then this bottom flap right here, I'm going to bring it up to the edge of my bottom of my triangle. And then I want to cut that. I'm going to take that tail, and I'm going to cut that off. Okay, so now we have a triangle. We're gonna fold it again, and then fold it one more time. Okay, so now you have one side that where the flaps are open and the other side is the fold. You're gonna be cutting on the open end, okay? And all we're doing is just rounding. So I'm just taking my scissors and I'm just rounding off those edges like that. So when I go to open it up, you can see it kind of resembles a flower just as is. Okay, so put that aside. You're going to repeat that with your four pieces of paper. So triangle, then fold your tail up, cut, and then remember fold once more and fold one more time. Round your edges. Now, I'm doing this with you guys just four times. Um, as with every project, I always, you know, encourage you to try 
um, your own versions, experiment just because I'm teaching you one may, one way doesn't mean that you have to stop there, right? So if you really like this style um, for this flower and you wanna make bigger flowers, you can certainly do more of these triangles. The more you do, the fuller your um, flower is gonna be. And you might even want to try um, different sizes too. So I just happen to use my um, pa paper and quarter it. But if you have a bigger piece of um, book page and you want to try doing it with um, with larger rectangles to start with, that might be interesting too. So just remember, don't limit yourself. Always um, try and experiment on your own as well. So now I've done all four, okay, repeating that process folding my triangles. I've, re I've got my all four flowers. Now here is where we need to do some a few more cuts to make this flower work. So I'm going to take, and if you look really closely, you can see the individual fold lines on there. So for the first one, we are going to just cut out one section. So I, I it kind of creates hearts is what it looks like. So I'm going to create, cut out one heart. It looks like this. Okay. So I've got a little Pac-Man almost. Now keep the other pieces because you can also use those. You, you can use them to make um, leaves. You can also use them to um, make smaller um, pieces for the inside. Now I'm going to do three. So this is almost like a heart and a half. Okay. And then for this next one, I'm going to cut it right in half. So really for this one, even though we folded four pages, I'm gonna, we just need three really to um, get this get this going. So the first thing that you're gonna do, so you have all these pieces that you have set aside, okay? You're gonna take the one that just has the half. Now, the nice thing about this is because you have your um, paper folded, find um, one edge, we're gonna add glue, and I'm using you know my Elmer's again, so you do not need a lot. I just kind of made sure that I put enough on the um, pedal. And then I'm going to just fold it right on top of itself. Okay, so let me show you this way. Now I'm holding it. That's what it looks like. It's creating these little cones, okay? So again, 10 seconds, and then set it aside. Do the next one. And the, the, um, the purpose for taking out multiple sizes in our flowers when we're kind of cutting those out is because we need to be able to stack them into each other. So if we would have just taken out the same amount, they would have been the same size. So again, 10 seconds, just kind of count um, and then put it down. So you'll notice as you are gluing, and I'm just gluing all of these right now. So just taking my little triangles and I am folding them on its onto themselves. And you can see, I'll show you one more. Again, just kind of gluing those in place. You get a few more glued for you. So you guys can see, take this last one. And then again, if you want to add more when this is done too, you can, you can do that as well. Depends on how full you want your flower to be. Okay, so I think I've got enough to get us going here. So let's do, oh, let me do this one more in the middle. So I'm gonna take this little tiny one right here and I'm actually gonna roll it because there's only two pieces. So if I just use this tab, then it would just be in half, right? So I'm gonna just take just a little edge because I wanna have a tiny spot in my flower and I just made a little fold, a little crease and then I'm gonna put just a dab of glue this is just gonna be for the inside of my flower. And it'll probably be a little easier for you guys because your fingers are tinier than mine, but I wanna make sure that I just hold that in place. Use my pinky. Hold it in place to make sure that it is good to go. And I have my tiny little cone. So this is gonna be my center. So now what you wanna think about is starting with your tiniest, and then putting in your next tiniest. So we are just going to simply put it inside. So I took, oh, I took my little one and I'm going to place it in my next smallest one. So you can see it's starting to go. And then I'm gonna put this inside my next tiniest one. 
and I'm going to put it in my next tiniest one. So you can see you can really add um, many layers to this, right? So let me see if I can kind of just hold it for the camera. So you can see it all layered in there. It's looking really nice like a rose. Now, um, I'm going to use the same wire as I did. So right now, these are just kind of sitting in there. They're not stuck together. So I'm going to use that same wire that I did for my other projects. Again, just cutting the size that you like um, for your stem. And then creating just a little bit of a, um, a fold at the top for that center. Okay. Now, the book pages in this wire is so skinny that you um, should be able to feed these through very easily. But I'm going to take one out just so you can see. This is my center. This is the smallest one. I'm going to take my wire and I'm going to feed it through. I'm going to bring it all the way up. Okay. And then I'm going to take my next one. Just And I, I took it apart. You could probably do this with it all sitting still. But I just want you to be able to see feeding it through. The next one, feeding it through. And the very last one for the ones I did for you guys, just feeding it through like that. Okay. Like so. So now you have your flower. Now for your um, flower to stay and not slide back down, you just need to bend your wire again. Now I'm just bending it right along my um, flower and I'm just going to bend it up and then I'm going to bend it right back down. So I almost just made like a little, just a little curve in it, just enough to keep it from sliding down, back down my wire. Okay. Try not to bend my flower here too much. Okay, so now I have my flower and it's staying as I want. Now, if you want to, you have those extra little pieces that you have um, left over. These make for great petals so if, or leaves. So if you want to put some of those on there, you can, which would also be very cool. Now, again, I told you, you can make as many of these if you want to add and create a bouquet um, of flowers. It's very cool. And then the very last thing I mentioned in the beginning that you could take um, washable markers or watercolor. And if you wanted to add a little bit of color, you can take your marker and just go around. It's kind of a tealish turquoise. And you're not, you don't want to color the whole thing, but if you just kind of go around the outside edges, and remember this can be done kind of loosely too, because we're not trying to color everything. We're just trying to give it a hint of color touch of color. And then if you like the way that that looks just with a little bit of color, that's kind of what I did with the my um, original one that I showed you. I just left it as is. But if you like to and you want to kind of blend it out or if you do the watercolor option, you can just take and you can see you can blend it even more to get some more color. I want it to drip on you. But I'm just taking this is just a brush with water because these markers are watercolor. Um, they blend really, really nicely. Okay, so there's your close-up, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed making your um, book page flowers, and I look forward to seeing you again. Take care.